Boom. Now I am heard. I believe I am heard. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Stronger Yoga. It's a Saturday as I record this. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Getting ready to have some super great times. I'm stalling. Hold on here. I still got to get my mic going. We're going to edit all this out. Boom. There we go. Let's make sure I'm heard. So who's here? So far I see two people checked in. Leave me a comment before we get started. Just so that I can chat with you while we practice. And let me know that you can hear me okay. I'm not worried about stalling anymore. Hello, Karen. Uh, because I now figured out how I can edit a video after it's been uploaded to YouTube. And I'm excited about that. Who else is here? I don't want any, uh, what do you call them, ghosts, stalkers, creepers. Today we're going to work on the glutes. If your uh, butt is tight from uh, the, the election, this might help you out a little bit. And also, we're just going to have some fun playing around with a little bit of balance. Well, hello, Sharon. Hello, Sharon. I, I think I'm going to be seeing you later today, aren't I? I'm going to bring you a cake, by the way. And uh, I'm not sure if we're bringing the little monkey. Anyway, like I said, I can do this all fucking day long because I can take all of this out. But I know Miss Karen probably wants to get started. Or am I going to do yoga with my cowgirl hat on? That hurt. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I finally got end credits, which I'm excited to throw into the mix today for live, but uh, I don't have opening credits. I wish I did. What? Andreas! 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 What camera am I on? Good morning, Andreas, my good man. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you like my hat? Because some people don't like my hat. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. But I'm going to put it right there. Hey, did you watch the Baby Yoda show last night? That was fun. Mirabai! Do you want to come in here and be weird for a second? Andreas says he loves the hat. Andreas loves the hat. What? What? I did. Let's let's do this thing. Who wore it better? Who wore it better? I got to strike a pose. Okay, now you put it on and then strike a cool pose to that camera. Oh, I got crushed. I already know I got crushed. All right, get out of here. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. People must be sleeping in. If you haven't, roll out your mat. And let's kneel at the center. Sit up tall in your hero's pose. Close your eyes. and become aware of the breath passing through your nose. Place your right hand on the floor to your right. Reach your left hand to the sky. And then lean to your right, putting weight into your right hand and reaching over with your left hand. And now push the floor down harder and lift your butt. 
and try to reach your left fingertips for your right fingertips. Release. Place your left hand on the floor to the left. Reach your right hand up. Lean to your left and begin to put pressure into your left hand on the floor. As you continue to reach over with the right hand, lift your butt. And without bending the right elbow too much, reach your right fingertips towards your left fingertips. And release. Take your hands and bind them behind you. Slide your knees out wide and hinge forward and lay your forehead on the mat. As you roll onto the crown of your head, lift your fists. And slowly release, hips back to heels. Plant the hands in front of you. Let's come into downward facing dog. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Lift the knees and begin to push each heel into the ground with a straight leg. As the other knee bends, think about pulling it underneath the straight leg. Your hips will begin to swivel. Your toes will start to turn right and left. Now let's set our down dog. Step your feet in another inch. Press your heart back towards the space between your big toes. Push down into the palms. Look straight down. And as you inhale, lift your heels slowly without driving your body forward. So those hands really have to resist to keep pushing your butt back. Exhale, lower your heels back to the floor. Bring your knees down to the mat. Exhale to child's pose. Forehead touches the center. Spring forward to a plank. Exhale, touch your chest to your thumbs. Inhale, push up and exhale, press back. Now let's do that again. While you're pressing your heart back towards the space between your feet, lift your heels. Press your heels slowly down. Inhale, lower your knees. Exhale, sit to your heels, child's pose. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, touch chest to mat. Inhale, push up. Exhale, press back. Let's do one more. As you inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, press your heels down. Lower your knees. Breathe in. Hips to heels, head to the mat. Breathe out. Inhale forward. It doesn't matter if you lift your knees here. Remember, guys, let me take that to the side camera. You can always keep your knees down and bend your elbows. Push up and press back. Let's go right into our sun B. Lift your right leg up. Take a moment to open the hip, bend the knee, and turn the right ankle. Turning your foot on the ankle would be more accurate. Right and left, clockwise, counterclockwise. And step your right foot to the inside of your right hand. And let's just hold here on this first one. Think about pulling your heart forward and back and over to the right and over to the left. If I switch cameras, you can see that basically the air around my butt, I'm trying to use my butt as a paintbrush and I'm, I'm painting with my butt, I can tell you, all the colors of the rainbow. It's a beautiful thing in my mind. Reach your right hand up. Pull the hips down low. But keep the left leg straight. So press through the left heel. Pull the collarbones away from the left heel. And then reach down and step to the top of your mat. Lift halfway up, hands to knees, back is parallel to the floor and the ceiling. As you exhale, grab your calves or ankles, look at the back of your mat while you press nipples towards knees. Inhale, rise up. Palms together, pressure in your palms, and lean to the right. And inhale back to center. Exhale. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Lift your left leg into the air. Breathe in. Exhale. Step it deeply back. Inhale. Chest forward. Lower the left knee. 
And as you exhale, sit back to the left heel. Lift your heart so your spine's perpendicular to the earth. You can see that on that side cam. And the right leg is straight. I drive through the heel, pull the toes back. And then come forward to step back. And I think you know where we're going, right? Chest all the way to the thumbs, push up, and press back. I love it already. Man, the first salutation, that's when I get over the hump, when I know like, all right, I'm on my mat, I'm doing this. Lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, open the hip, lift the knee up high. Try to keep the chest squared off and keep using your hands to push your heart towards your right foot. Now let's make some circles with the left ankle. Clockwise, counterclockwise. And then step left foot to the inside of the left hand. And we're gonna pause right here. And just paint with your butt. Cause what did I call this class? Yum yum for the bum bum. And what I meant was we're gonna make your butt feel good and like not in a naughty way, but uh, since you're watching this video, I don't know what the hell you're doing at home. Pull the chest forward, reach your left hand up. And then look up for your left thumb. And remember, your right leg is straight, but you're pulling your hips down towards your left heel as you reach up with your left hand. Reach down and step forward, hands to knees, Back parallel to the ceiling, breathe in, grab your ankles, look at the back of your mat, breathe out, and rise up. Palms together, and pressure in the palms. Let's go back to the front and lean to your left. Now, when you go to the left, I want you to take just a moment and try to push your right hand up with your left hand. Good, come back to center. As you exhale, bow. Right leg lifts. Exhale, step it back. As you inhale, lower the right knee. And think about the front edge of your mat as the tape on a finish line. Remember how a runner's always gonna press his chest forward to try to break that tape and win the race? That's what you're trying to do with your chest right here. And then as you sit back, my right toes are curled under. If that's painful, remember, you don't have to sit all the way back, but we are trying to increase range of motion through the feet. In this stronger yoga practice, we really emphasize stronger and uh, more mobile feet and uh, joints through the feet. Come forward, plant the hands, step back, nipples to thumbs, push and press. Let's repeat. Lift your right leg. We're just going to go a little faster. Exhale, step forward. Remember, full speed isn't high speed. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Exhale, reach down, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, grab your ankles, pull down. And maybe this time you try to look at the ceiling behind you or your own butt cheeks. Rise up, reach up. Pressure in your palms. Exhale, lean to your right. As you lean to the right, push your right hand into your left. Inhale to center. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide and bow. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step back. Inhale, lower the left knee, chest forward, heart lifts, chin and jaw comes parallel to the floor. Sit back, pull your toes back, lift your heart, come forward. Exhale, step back, touch your chest, push up, and press back. I hope my necklace isn't making a bunch of noise every time I do my chaturanga. Let's try that. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step. Reach your left hand up. Pull the hips low. Exhale, reach down, step to the top. Half lift, hands to the knees, breathe in. Exhale, pull down and round. Inhale, rise up. Press the palms together. Lean to your left as you exhale. Press the left hand against the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide and bow. Lift the right leg, breathe in. 
Exhale, step back. Knee down, chest forward, inhale. Sit to the right heel. Lift the heart, straighten the left leg, pull the toes back. Inhale, come forward, plant the hands. Exhale, step back. Remember, you can lower the knees first if you need to. Touch your chest, push and press. One more set, guys. Inhale, lift the right leg, open the hip. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Exhale, reach down, step to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, pull down and round. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lean to the right, pressure in the hands. Inhale to center. Exhale, sweep the arms wide and bow. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, step back. Knee to the floor, chest forward. Exhale, sit to the left heel, straighten the right leg, lift the heart. Inhale, come forward, plant the hands. Exhale, step back, touch your chest, push and press. Last one, left leg lifts. Exhale, step. Left hand high, hips down low. Exhale, reach down, step forward. Half lift, breathe in. Pull down and round. Look at your butt. Rise up, breathe in. Pressure in your palms, lean to your left. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, touch the floor. Right leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, step back. Knee to the mat, chest forward. Exhale, sit to the right heel. Pull the left toes back, lift the heart. Inhale, come forward. Last one. Touch your chest. Maybe do two. Maybe do three. I don't know. Do a few extra push-ups. I'm, I'm telling you, extra push-ups never hurt anybody. Press your heart back, down dog. Exhale, lower the knees. Back to hero's pose. Rest your palms on your thighs, close your eyes, and take a moment to catch your breath. With my eyes closed, I can call forth my little uh, movie screen, which is showing Joe versus the volcano. If you've never seen it, you better do it. It'll change your life. But Tom Hanks says in that movie, at a critical moment, I'm my only hope for a hero. That's one of my favorite lines from film. We are our only hope for a hero. Step your right foot forward into tonight's position. Push your right knee forward. Lift your left knee up. And come into Anjane Asana, our first lunge. And we should probably be clear about something. If we're going to uh, put ourselves in a position today to maximize some stretches in our glutes. We need to fire them first because the act of contracting pulls blood into the muscles. That's what we want. So that means we're going to have to work our glutes first. So this is really simple. I want you to slide your thumbs over your ears, point your elbows forward. We're not going to lift the heart and look up, guys. I just want you to pin your armpits back and slowly lift the left heel and bend the left knee and see if you can't keep your right knee from pushing forward. Good, I'm on my side camera there. So I'm trying to get my left knee all the way to the mat without pushing right knee forward. Now that's mostly gonna load the left quad, but it also takes the right glute. Now we're just gonna reverse, keeping your elbows and eyes forward begin to press into the ball of your left foot and the right leg straightens. Now reach your hands out and lean forward until your heart is almost resting on your right knee and lift your left leg up. Hands at the heart, thumbs touch the sternum, bend your right and left knees and bend that right knee as low as you can and lift the left knee as high as you can. Then straighten both legs again. That was one, we're doing three. Bend both knees. 
Keep that left knee from flaring out. Hug it to the midline. Push the right knee over the toes. Lift the left toes to the ceiling and straighten both legs. Last one, bend both knees and sit as low as you can in that right knee. Hug the left knee in and lift it up and step to the top of your mat. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, now cross right ankle to left thigh without getting a massive head rush. Did you get one? I did. Wouldn't that have been hilarious? That would have been, I seriously, I would have left that up and it would have been hilarious if I passed out. Boom. Now slowly lower the nipples towards the right shin or calf. And you can use your palms against the top of the thigh and the bottom of the foot and push against your leg like you're trying to make a shorter shin while you stick out your butt and lower your chest to the calf and the ankle. And release. Plant your right foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow, fingertips to the floor. Left leg lifts. Step it back, lower the knee. Oh yeah, now right foot comes out. Draw it up and forward, out and forward to the top right corner. So the arch is somewhere near that corner. It doesn't have to measure out directly as it does on my mat. And remember how we were trying to pull the hips low? So I want you to walk your hands forward and maybe place those elbows near the top edge and breathe deep through your nose. Now we're gonna oscillate here. That means we're going to activate muscle and then soften and relax again. So as you inhale, push into your right foot and your left knee. That should lift your butts pull, uh, and pull them back slightly. And exhale, relax. Inhale, push down into the knee and the foot. Exhale, relax. Inhale, push into the foot and the knee. And exhale, relax. There it is. Now we're just going to hold here. And you can still wiggle around. Or you can opt for stillness. Now if you really need some stress relief, if your elbows are down, which camera am I on? Okay, so what I'm going to switch here. And what I'm going to do is take the heel of my hands and place them right on the corners, outer corners of my eyes. It's almost like you're holding your forehead like, oh, Jesus, God, make it go away. Whatever you want to go away. But the pressure on the outer corners of the eyes on the top corner, there's a nice little acupressure point there that if we put pressure there, with the palms or the fingers. It's soothing to our central nervous system, takes us out of the fight or flight. It's really interesting how we do things with our body without being even conscious of the fact that these things we do, like put the hands over the forehead and the eyes, is calming. We must have unconsciously figured that out. Release. Plant your hands. Step your right foot back and come into downward facing dog. And bend those knees and move around. Start stimulating that blood flow again. Now, unlock the knees and try to push your heart towards the back edge of your mat behind your heels while you're looking straight down. If sweat's dripping off your face, you're looking to where it hits your mat. Big breath in, exhale, heels high, lower the knees, and we're back into hero's pose. So rest your palms on your thighs, place your head regally on the neck and the shoulders. And take a moment to 
calm the breath and the heart, preparing for the other side while simultaneously taking the opportunity for gratefulness for all of the strength that we demonstrated and gained by doing the first side. All right, let's do the other. Step your left foot forward into tonight's pose. We're going to push the left knee forward, and the hips are going to glide forward so that the right knee is now behind the hips. And if we apply pressure to the ball of the foot, that right knee lifts, and we're up in our anjane. Back heel high, guys. Remember, back heel high, back leg straight. So we're not trying to press that heel down, and we don't want to look like this, at least not right now. So get that heel up. And remember, when we go through this movement here of trying to lower the knee, we're trying to lower this right knee without this left knee going forward, okay? So slide thumbs over the ears, and just pull without drawing your elbows closer to your face. That would be this. Try to draw your elbows closer to your temples, and that's really just your shoulder blades drawing onto your back. And remember, we're going to try to hold that left knee in space right where it is. So begin to bend the right knee. Now, obviously, your body's going to compensate and make any adjustment it needs to to keep you out of pain. So be mindful of that. And take a moment to rest the right knee. Now we're going to lift it back up. Remember, we're trying not to thrust the groin forward or the left knee forward. We're just trying to hold the hips in place and press into the ball of the right foot. That was nice. Reach your hands out and lean forward so that we can slowly float that right leg up into the air. Hands to the heart. Remember, we're going to bend both knees. So bend the right, point the right big toe up, and bend the left, and try to sit as low as you can. Hug the right knee in, lift the right big toe up, keep the chest lifted, don't drop your chest, straighten both legs, we got to do two more, big breath in, exhale, bend both knees, and the act of sitting and the act of lifting a bent knee is working both of those glutes, but in different ways, you can probably feel it in your back more on your left side, straighten both legs, and bend both knees. Oh, this sucks so bad. Why did I decide to do this today? Rise up, plant your right foot because it feels good after. I got that head rush again. Cross the left ankle and slowly squat down to stretch that booty. You're going to place your right hand on the heel or the arch of your left foot and place left hand on the left knee. And remember, you're trying to squish your knee towards your heel and push. And while you're pushing, pull your chest forward and stick out your butt. And release. Plant the left foot, reach your hands up high, invite a deep breath. Exhale, reach out, bow forward. Fingertips to the mat. Lift the right leg. Step it back. Lower the right knee down. Left foot left and forward. Remember, arch of your foot near top left corner, okay? And we're gonna work hands forward and maybe elbows down. However, I do wanna remind you, maybe your just hands go out wider and you bend your elbows a little bit, remember? Your elbows don't have to be on the floor. There is no have to's, there's no shoulds. Just move around and try to get 
those elbows bent at least, and just try to bow. But we're not trying to bow at the expense of collapsing the chest. In other words, I want you to try to keep your chest uh, nipples on your shirt. Let's try it that way. But ladies, you always wear those spandexy things, so you kind of get to cheat. You're a bunch of cheaters. Jeez. Move around. Oh, I like it. I like it. As a bonus, we're working into the hips and groin. And release back onto the hands. The left foot's going to step back, and we're going into down dog. And push into that left heel. And push your heart back towards your big toes. And use your breath to calm your body into relaxing into those stretches, into those opportunities. Breathe and move like a breeze was moving you. Gentle and subtle. Inhale, exhale, lower the knees. Back into hero's pose. I wish it was called samurai pose. Sit up straight, close your eyes. I feel like a samurai whenever I do this. Now, we did a great job of uh, working those glutes. Now we're going to work into some stretches. Lift your butt off your feet. Step your right foot forward. Knight's pose. Left hand on the top of your head. Right fingertips spill over the right side. Slowly reach your right hand down for the floor or for the inside of the left thigh or maybe the left knee. We want to work into the sides. Remember, everything's connected. So we want to work into the side bodies, both above and below the hips. And... Release. We're going to go to the top of the mat, plant the fingertips, step the left foot forward, half lift, breathe in. And as you exhale, pull down. Rise up. Hands to your heart, right ankle to the left thigh. As we squat into our half lotus, we're going to work on trying to hug the right knee to the left nipple. So the reason why we wanted to work the chest down to that calf was so that we could use the left arm to reach under the right leg. And I've got my left hand now on the top of my right thigh so that when I rise up, I'm trying to hold my right knee to the center of my chest and then even turn to the right. And bring the ankle back to the thigh. Let go of your leg. Plant your foot and reach up. And bow. Now let's use the floor as leverage to do essentially the same thing. Lift the left leg up and step it back. Lower the left knee. Right foot left, right knee down. Pigeon. And the only thing we're going to do different here is try to get the left knee the back knee a little bit further away from the right foot. And I can always use my left hand. I'm going to switch cameras again. I can use this hand to hold this foot down. And your foot may not be here. It might be under your groin. That's okay. But you might try to just hold your foot down in place. Step your right hand to the right. And then turn your chest to face the floor because your chest probably wants to turn more to the left. Turn it to the right and try to lay the sternum on the knee. 
That right hand can continue to slide out to the right. If your left foot's not going anywhere, reach your left hand away from your right hand. And when you get your heart down towards your leg, keep trying to turn a little bit to the right and then untwist to the left a little bit. So the chest is turning right and left very subtly. And when it turns to the right, you're going to feel that pull in the glute. And then maybe you stack your hands and come to rest. Oh, that's nice. And release. Downward facing dog. Plant that right foot and then press into the right heel. And maybe take your left foot just off the floor, just so all the weight is in your right foot. And then see if you can't push your heart closer to your foot. And you might feel that a little bit deeper in the back of your knee or your calf. Lower the knees, sit to the heels, back into samurai pose. Rest the palms on the thighs. I like these moments where I can check in. And it gives you an opportunity to let the dog out or grab a drink of water. Maybe you pause the video if you got to go take a shit. I don't know. But for me, it's like uh, it's a little moment of meditation in my practice. It's those little check-ins where I go, man, I'm doing great work. Keep going. I'm doing great work. Maybe do another sequence. These are the kind of thoughts that pass through my mind. And sometimes when I'm not being filmed, I get up and I go take a shit. But all systems are go. Left foot steps forward. Ah. Which camera am I on? Okay, good. Reach your right hand up. And sometimes I've, I sit there in hero's pose and I just space out. Take the left hand and reach it under for the right thigh. And as my right hand reaches over, my left hand reaches under and across. Now, this space that we create through the side bodies above the hips is great for giving us space back in the chest cavity, the pericardial cavity, creating space and using it to breathe deeper. Release. To the top of the mat. Step right foot forward. Lift halfway up. Breathe in. And as you exhale, grab your ankles, pull down, and breathe out, looking at the ceiling behind you, possibly your butt. Rise up. Hands to heart. Left ankle to right thigh. And we're going to sit to the right heel. Bring the chest to the left calf. My right hand reaches under the left leg and then reaches up. And my right hand is now on the top of my left thigh. So that when I stand up, I'm going to be hugging left knee towards right nipple. And remember, your results will vary. Release. And maybe less clumsy than I did. But that's the beauty of yoga. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just effective. Reach up. Exhale, bow. Right leg lifts. Step it back. Right knee down. And we're going to bring the foot across for a pigeon stance. Your left foot going back dials this down. 
and your toes going forward dials it up. Remember, don't try to contort yourself into a crazy shape. All the stretches that we're doing should feel relatively available to you, okay? We're not trying to tear something. We're, this is not about uh, extreme yoga. My left hand goes left, and I'm going to try to pull the belly onto the left inner thigh. I'm going to work my hands out wide in sort of a Y shape, like, why am I doing yoga? Because it works, and then just turn the shoulder girdle, and it feels maybe like you're trying to roll a marble uh, between your shoulder blades from right to left. And when you feel more intensity, try to slow down and push into it a little bit deeper instead of just being uh, mindless, mechanical, and using um, momentum. Experience what you're feeling and try to dial it up. And when you're ready, maybe just bring it to rest. Stack the hands, forehead to the hands. All right, guys, very nice. Now, remember, when we plant that left foot back into down dog, we're going to point the toes forward, push the heel down, and work that stretch down the left leg. Maybe take your right foot off of the floor and try to push your heart back and see if the left heel will come down. And release into our last hero's pose. Bring the knees to the center of the mat. Sit to the heels. Rest the palms on the thighs. So we've done all of the work so far on the right and the left. And hopefully you feel really good in your body and really warm. And you've produced that little bit of perspiration that we need to get and create every single day. Take a moment to thank the deity of your choice for your health as well as your injuries. Because it's all sensation. Sensation means we're alive. Place your hands at the top of your mat and bring those knees a little bit further forward. Cross the ankles. And this may not be comfortable on your ankles or knees. Remember, you can always adopt a seated position in any way that works nicely for you. Plant the right foot and capture right knee and left elbow. Now we did essentially this when we were standing, right? So now we've got a better idea of how from a seated twist, placing the right hand behind us, lifting the heart, grounding through both sitting bones, we can hug that right knee to the left armpit and lifting the heart and turning the shoulders. We find those commonalities in the line of positions. And we're going to switch and do the other side, then lie down on our back, and again, just emphasize all those basic components of movement that we've worked on today. So plant the left foot, capture the left knee and right inner elbow, and place your left fingers behind you. Pull your belly away from your left thigh as you twist to the left and pull left knee to the right armpit, grounding through the sitting bones to get taller and lift through the crown of the head. And onto our backs. Planting the feet. Now we're going to scoot our butt about three inches to the right, straighten the left leg for a supine twist. We're going to use the left hand to guide the right knee across 
the hips. I'm going to give you guys a couple of options here. One is to just relax right here where you are. But I do want to offer, instead of trying to get your right knee to touch the floor and pulling it down, if that's pulling your right shoulder blade off of the floor, I want you to focus on keeping the right shoulder blade down. Now, if you'd like to go deeper today, bend your left knee, that is the one that's making contact with your mat, Reach down with your right hand for your left foot. Capture your foot at the arch. And then bring right shoulder and right elbow to the mat. And then see if you can't encourage that right knee down on the left side with your left hand. Take deep breaths. Always trying to take deeper breaths when our body wants to take shorter ones, often in a twist. Opt to take deeper ones. Remember, your diaphragm is a muscle, and if you give it resistance, it gets stronger, just like your bicep would with a dumbbell. Release. And we're going to do the other side. So step that left foot back. Scoot your hips left of center. And the reason we want those left of center Straighten your right leg and guide your left knee to the right is so that our shoulder blades will remain, both of them, in contact with the floor. And if our hips stack, that means that we've hopefully rotated our hips from our shoulders 90 degrees. We're not after 90 degrees. We're just after more range of motion. But we do want to be mindful of where we are. We can't change what we can't measure. So try to feel your body. And remember to go further, bend your right knee, and grab the arch of your right foot with your left hand. And then hug that left shoulder blade and elbow to the mat and encourage the left knee down to the right. And breathe deep. Release. And bring both hips. Well, you have to, right? One hip can't go anywhere with the other one, does it? Bring your hips back to center. I'm starting to get all shavasana and sloppy and kind of like yoga drunk. Now let's take both knees into the palms and pull the knees down towards the armpits. And if there's a fart present, just let it go, baby. This is called wind relieving pose for a reason. And now plant your feet wide to the long edges of your mat, plant your hands next to your heels, lift your butt a couple of inches and draw your knees towards each other. Imagine trying to squeeze a small book between your thighs as you press into the heels. When you press into your heels, try to keep your knees from separating. And then lower your butt back down to the floor. And come into Shavasana, unless you prefer Sukhasana, seated meditation pose. And wherever you are, close your eyes. Breathe through your nose, in and out, and focus on your body, your breath, your practice. Taking this opportunity to feel grateful. It's been a long time, I can't remember now, when I really like consciously and actively started to add gratitude into my yoga practice, but practicing it consistently helps put us in a better frame of mind. It's always 
good to be mindful of what's going right and what we have because we always have that negative bias. So I hope in the time that you have left on your mat today, you'll just breathe, focus on gratitude, as I am grateful for you for watching and joining me during this yoga practice today. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. And the credits you'll now see, if you're still watching the screen, is all the producers of this show, and you can become one on Patreon. Thank you, guys.